It's a burger. It's a burrito. It's a burger. It's a burrito. It's a burger. No, it's a burgerito. Well, we're coming down to the end of the year, aren't we, lads? Can't wait. Let's get rid of this year, shall we? It's time. It's time to start afresh. Time to start anew. Well, I gotta hold that speech for January. But we're near the end. We thought we'd do something fun, and we are. We're taking all the greatness of a burger, of a cheeseburger, with onions and lettuce and cement. Oh boy, somebody's phone is not on. Darn it, who could that be? Somebody. Uh-oh. This is my wife. We're taking all the goodness of a cheeseburger with bacon and onions and lettuce and tomato and putting that inside a giant tortilla, thereby creating the burgerito. It's a fairly popular thing. It's, it's a thing. Max thought, why not? Max goes like this. Why don't we make a burgerito? And I go, okay, I'll make you a burgerito. And that's what we're going to do. So here's the, here's the plan. We're gonna make the sauce that we always make. If you've seen it before, you'll just see it again. If you haven't seen it, this is the only burger sauce you'll ever need. We're gonna make our burger patties. Oh, fries go in this too. We're gonna to make our own fries. Oil's uh, heating up behind me. And then everything just goes, whoosh, roll up, heat, cut, eat, amazingness. Sound simple? Yeah, wait, can you go over that super exciting exchange that we had about the burg burgerito again? Yes, it was like this. Max said, we should make a burgerito. And I went, sure, okay, let's do it. Do you think it was more involved than that? He proposed the idea about 17 times over the past weeks. A typical conversation about what we're going to shoot goes like this. Max, what do you want me to make? And Max goes, hmm, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. I'll suggest some stuff. And he'll be like, no. No, who would want that? No, that's just for old people. No, that's not going to get anybody liking it. No, no, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. His ideas are the golden ideas. So today is the burgerito. By the way, chicken pot pie I did with one arm. My idea, if you haven't watched it, please go watch the F out of it. I want those likes and views to go way the hell up. Put that kid back into his place. We'll start with fries. I got to cut them, get them going. We're going to double fry them. So, so just follow along. We begin like this knife, russet. I like to cut the ends off. I think it makes this part easier. You're not having to deal with that rounded end. Hey, get off, turn it, continue. And now boys, we cut. So I like to take a little piece off one side. So I have a sturdy surface to cut on. And then I'm gonna make planks. You can make your fries as thick or as thin as you want. I don't think I need to make these ones too thick. I mean, there's an awful lot going on here besides this. And now you've got this line to cut against. You've got this. Did that make sense? No, yes. it didn't, did it? <laughs> so what do we think? Should we make them short or we like this size? Those are good. Those are perfect. They're beautiful, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm only going to need to make one potato's worth. Beautiful. Now look, if I was going to make a lot of fries, like two potatoes worth or three potatoes worth, once I'd cut this batch, this potato, I'd put it in cold water to keep it from turning brown. But seeing as how, well, the other benefit to that is it takes some of the starch off. <laughs> so do I do that? Just want to go right yeah. to the, I just want to go right into the oil. Yeah. Can we just go right in the yes, oil? But if yeah. you're doing a lot, put them in water first so they don't go brown. Then dry them off well, then put them in the oil. We're just going straight in the oil. So we're going to fry them twice. Right now we're at about 335 degrees. We'll crank them up for the second fry. Hey, hey, hey. This is just going to get a few minutes, three, four minutes. The second fry is the one that really will give them some beautiful color and the crispiness. Meanwhile, we're just waiting for this to happen. And after about uh, four-ish minutes, we'll carefully take them out, put them on a rack so they're not sitting in the oil. I just don't want to break them up too much, though. They're very delicate right now. They're a delicate, they're like Max. He's a delicate little flower 
And so are these. Aren't you, Max? Yes. <laughs> really, what are you going to say to that? <laughs> no. No, I'm not a delicate flower, you jerk. <laughs> All right, these guys, I'll try and separate them. They will come apart once they get back in the oil for their second bathing. Now we can move on to onions and bacon. Onions first, a little avocado oil, and then our diced yellow onion. And in its sister pan right beside it, we'll put in some bacon, just like this. Ow! Probably should go with the contours of the pan, right? Okay, I got two more I want to fit in here. It's all gonna shrink, we're gonna be fine. Lads and lassies. Give our onions a little toss. We want these guys beautifully caramelized. I don't think it's insane for us to think about starting our sauce, actually. All right, so of course we begin with a bowl. You gotta make it in something on the counter would be wrong. Some mayo, a little squeeze of ketchup. Let's drop in a skosh of mustard. We like a little sriracha, don't we? Yeah, we do. Thank you chance. Some diced dill pickle, a little hit of salt and pepper, and we mix. Oh, that is going to be insanely delicious. Back to our bacon and onions. Bacon looks ready to turn. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. Look, everything fits in the end. Everything fits in the end. Come on, you. Come on. Cooperate, please. Thank you. That guy needs a little bit more because he was up on that edge, but that's great. And then these kids right here. I'll move the pans, Maxie. I don't want you to have to move at all. I got your back, buddy. These are coming along nicely. It's going to be insane, folks. It's going to be insane. And while this finishes, I think next we can make our burger patties. We begin with a pound of ground beef. Uh, we're not going to use it all, but we're going to use some of it. It's only two other things. One is a good pinch of salt and pepper, and the other is a little garlic powder. So, you knew this was gonna happen, right? I mean, what do you do? You gotta mix it, but I always tell you, don't over mix it. So let's do two third of a pounders on this. This is gonna be like an okay size, you know? Not too thin. I'm not gonna flatten these guys once they get on, as is generally what we like to do. Beautiful. I'll just put it on some wax paper right there. Do the same with this guy. Nothing has to be perfect. Let's not forget, we're not showcasing these. These guys are just going inside of a tortilla to become a burrito. You can get all kinds of ground beef these days. I happen to be using a Wagyu beef for this. It's just gonna be fattier, it's gonna be deliciouser, it's gonna be great. And the prices of of like the ground Wagyu have come way down. In fact, Costco, I think, sells like three one pound packs for like $15, which is very good. So I encourage you to try it when you're out there and if the price makes sense for you. Cool? All right, patty's done. We're gonna cut some lettuce and tomato, get the fries happening for their second cook and then put it together. I can't wait. Look at these. Look at these. It could be so good. Lettuce, tomato. So a little cool lettuce will be great in here. But before I uh, cut it, do you know how to get the core out easily? I don't. Well, it's not very dramatic. <laughs> I thought it would be way more exciting than that. But that, that does that. I always get rid of the outside leaves because they're gross and dirty and, and a mess. It's fine. Cut. And then, like this. I don't need too much. Put some in here. Just some cool, crunchy, delicious lettuce for this. So tomatoes, beautiful. We don't need a lot. Cut this guy in half. And for this application, I'm okay with the little squishy seeds in here. Some decent bites will be great. What a knife like this is not good on necessarily is a very soft tomato. And I have one here. You can see, look it. Ugh, it's busting. So it's just gonna squish the hell out of it. The best thing to use for this is a serrated knife. And I'm not pushing mine, I'm just saying, a serrated knife works 
beautifully with a super squishy tomato. It's not just for cutting bread. I think that's important to point out. And while I'm here, actually, I'll just give myself a couple of extra pieces for the burger. And let's get our fries in. And here we are, oil's about uh, 370. Ow! Damn it, it's hot over here. And I don't mean from the oil, I mean from the grill. Spread the guys out. Beautiful. And now, here's the cool part. Timing is a visual thing at this point. We're waiting for them to look like proper french fries. Golden, brown, crispy, and delicious. And with our fries working their magic, it's time to get the burgers happening, shall we? A little oil, and on we go. And for fun, let's do this move. A little mustard, just for a little extra flavor. Wow, these have been on about 15 seconds. I smell straight, delicious beef. Therein lies one of the reasons, ladies and gentlemen, you want to up your protein game. These guys are looking gorgeous, so let's take them off. Come on, everybody. Drip, 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 drip. Into our bowl. Because they need a little seasoning. So these are good. A little salt and pepper. Lovely. Let's get back to our burgers. And we're ready to flip. That, that's where you're headed. I'm sure Guy Fieri would have some f***ed up name for the way that looks right now. I'm just saying, that's a crust that you want. Right, we're ready for our tortilla. You know the drill. We're putting it on to heat it up, make it a little more pliable. That's the plan. And while we're here, let's get some cheese on these guys. First, they each get some aged cheddar. Let me snuggle that guy a little closer. And then no burger is complete without a slice of American cheese. I don't know what they call this in other parts of the world. I suppose it depends on whether the country likes this or not. That's doing its thing. Tortilla flips. And the tortilla comes off and we can start to build. The burgers will now get capped. The steam will melt. And we're ready. Look at them. Let's just give them a little hit of water and then we'll be there. That's what we're looking for right there. But I don't want it to continue cooking, so let's just get them on here. Now we can build. Here's how this goes down. Sauce. Unbelievable. This is really setting us in the right freaking direction. Next up, our fries. Put a nice healthy amount down. Beautiful. Lettuce. I don't like that one, but I like these guys. Now, our patties. Here comes the first. Oh, God. Dang, that's hot. Here's the first. Goodness gracious. Numero dos. <laughs> what madness is this? Ready for the bacon? Oh, man. Last but not least, our onions. And look the gorgeous color on them. Perfect. Now this folds in. Wow. We come over the top like this and we roll. So let's cut this biatch, shall we? And we cut and eat. Yeah. You like that idea? Yeah. Oh. Snap. Damn. You know what I forgot? Oh, you forgot the tomatoes, didn't you? No, the tomatoes. Amateur. Mmm, but I know how that's going to taste. And I'm going to be honest, this looks about as perfectly cooked as you could want. Squeeze some of the juice and the stuff and the... God, ah, stupid tomatoes. How did I forget the dumb tomatoes? There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, our burgerito. Burgerito, you're the one. You make lunchtime lots of fun. Burgerito, I'm awfully fond of you. Now we buy, I don't know where to go. I'll just go here. Is it a burger? Is it a burrito? How about I take a piece of tomato 
and cram it in where it was supposed to be. Damn thing. It's, it's a burgerito and a delicious one at that. Bacon, the sauce, this sauce, once again, here's your takeaway. If nothing else matters to you in this episode, that sauce should be important. That sauce should be a regular staple in your refrigerator. Put that shit on everything. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Wait, I have two announcements to make. The one chip packy challenge. We were supposed to do it today. We don't have any milk. I forgot to put milk on the list. We don't have milk and we're not trying it without milk. Are we boys? No. Nope. No. I don't think they're actually disappointed that we're not doing this today. I know Max has been like, is this the day? And everybody that has wanted to be part of hashtag Sam's giving 2020. We will announce Christmas day. We're all gonna be happy. Well, seven people especially. Well, I hope everybody's happy for this holiday season. All right, cool, cool, we're all good. I'm out eating more of this, see ya.